Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 8th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at world weather, space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and everything else affecting humanity. Start now here, looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms is the name of the filter. Looking at a pretty bright region in the northwestern corner of the sun, cresting in. Last 48 hours incoming imagery. Small, fiery, earth-facing sun region. We also are, are, we also are expecting a small solar storm, solar radiation storm. We already have been affected by it, actually, over the last 24 hours. Close look here at the bright big incoming region and as well opposite of that northwest region in the southeast that spot is a poppin as well so antipodal action going on with our sun northwest and southeast looking at multi-spectrum here no major sun events to talk about except the small CME from yesterday, and as well our solar radiation storm, which already came through. Looking here at 193 angstroms, looking for any coronal holes, which is a dark, dark regions on the Earth-facing disk, and we're not seeing any right now except for the southern hemisphere. Looking at Alaska 2 and 3, no major sun events to show here either. And as well, Iswa not showing any new events. Still expecting a glancing blow from that CME from yesterday. Looking at a real-time solar wind right now, we're sitting at about 330 kilometers per second. And it has considerably dropped over the last few hours. Looking at our solar X-ray flux, you can see it has been raised up into C-class flare so we did have a flare from that bright sunspot region that was incoming i'm sure it was that one and noah here reporting solar radiation radiation storm below s scale storm level thresholds and you can see it here on the x-ray flux d-wrap mat wrap and that was just recent. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 22, 24, 31, whatever that means. I'd like to know more about that. I need to learn more. Maybe get into some Schumann classes. But that is our power for today. Power of 32. Quality of 7.2. Looking at earthquakes the last 24 hours, still pretty quiet across the planet only very notable earthquake here 5.4 at two station alaska and we've got some active russia volcanoes in the region to talk about and as well chigniak minor earthquake there and as well northward into gellowin 3.6 across north america here petrolia california 3.4 at 34 kilometer depth as well minor earthquakes in Continuing through Alder Springs, California. Activity here into White City, New Mexico, 3.4 and a 3.2, Toya, Texas. And as well, a notable and strange, yet again, a 3.9 earthquake off Beverly Beach, Florida, and USGS calling it an experimental explosion. So I'm sure that was, again, the U.S. Navy conducting some experimental explosions off the coast of Florida. Pretty quiet here through the Caribbean plate. Most of the action came out here through the Cocos plate. Triple junction seeing a 5.0. South America into Peru here. San Diego 4.6. And as well San Antonio de la Cobros 4.3. And a 4.4 there Argentina. 
South Sandwich Islands seeing some activity as well today, 4.7, 108 kilometer depth, and as well just east there, southern mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.0. Quiet through the Atlantic Plate and into the north. Overlooking Europe, Greece, 4.3, and another one north of that, and then just north of northwest of that, 3.9, Bosnia, so right up that Arabian Plate, 4.5 into the Indian Plate, quiet through Indonesia, 4.6 only to report there, to Bilo, 4.4 there, Japan, northern Japan, very quiet through the regions here today, we should be seeing a lot more activity, and as well, a deep activity through Fiji, and we're not seeing it right now. But we are seeing a 5.5 here south of Australia, Mercury, Ar Mercury Island. And that's the last 24 hours across the planet. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days. Where, yeah, we are looking at a quiet Central America and as well North American plate. Activity growing through the Aleutian Islands with the active volcanoes. Stay tuned, volcanic activity report will be coming up. Overlooking Africa and into Europe. Minor activities in the last seven days. And then still very quiet through West Pacific Plate right now. And as well, Fiji region for deep earthquakes. Not much as of late. So very quiet. Only looking at about 250 earthquakes across the USGS map. Largest being the 5.4 in Alaska. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes getting updated. Etna in Italy, Fuego in Guatemala, uh, Simru in Indonesia, Karamiski, Russia, and Shrinkatan in Russia. That's the one I was talking about. So an awakened volcano in Russia, as well as Karamiski, Nevados de Chilean in Colombia, Merapi, Luatolo. Nevados de Ruiz, Popo, Shivalich. So yeah, stay tuned. The volcanic activity re will be coming up. The report will be coming up probably in the morning. As well, looking at some pretty stormy conditions through South Dakota today. Tornado warnings going out this evening. That's just recent. And as well through Kentucky, Paducah. Kentucky. Flash floods through Florida. One tropical storm to talk about there, Kevin. And as well, two tropical storms here in the West Pacific affecting Japan. We've got Marina. And as well, Lupit has been spinning for six days through China and is now going through Japan. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. The Olympics are officially done. Closing ceremonies, I do believe, are happening as we speak. But very interesting situation happening across the West Pacific and as well through Russia. Many new fires have broken out even throughout the day today. I put out that video earlier this morning showing satellite imagery of the fires across Russia and across Greece and Turkey. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. This is a pretty... Barren area, uh, not heavily populated, but I mean, look at it, it today. This is most recent satellite imagery. And there's a huge low pressure system that is wrapping up all of that smoke. Just saying, heads up, lots changing in our northern hemisphere. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here over North America as most of the moisture is going to be heading way north towards the Hudson Bay. Looking at the five-day forecast starting out here, Calgary, Alberta. As we had a couple spits of rain, it was ridiculous. But still, that moisture just slipped south of us and east. Which is a big bummer because it's so dry here. Now, looking at the five-day forecast, you can see some cooler temperatures moving down after this large low-pressure system 
heads into the Hudson Bay. Look at the size of this thing, guys. It is massive. And you've got about one, two, three, four low pressure systems wrapped up to make this beast of a system just huge. Widespread showers through uh, northeastern and southeastern parts of the United States with that system overlooking the Atlantic. Looks like that high pressure ridge has been beat up and the lows are going to start controlling the Atlantic. Overlooking Europe, not much has changed in the forecast except for the low pressure system coming into the United Kingdom It'll be a little bit drier than forecasted yesterday. Widespread showers moving into the northeastern parts of Europe. Showing here the track of the low pressure system that is wrapped up with all those fires in Russia. As well, a long atmospheric river of moisture here heading out of the Mongolian mountains through Japan and out into the Pacific Ocean. Some intense lows racing across the Pacific in the five-day forecast, looking at most of the moisture heading into northern BC and Alaska. Not much has changed here overlooking Australia. And it looks like you're just going to have days and days of rain through New Zealand. Tropical system Kevin here. Looks like it will be fading out, but then watch for a bigger one to form behind it. It is an unnamed storm, but it is already an area of interest in the five-day forecast. That could be heading north into the Gulf of California in the long-range forecast, so stay tuned to Morning Dew. Not much has changed over South America as well, except for this pretty powerful system that comes out of Buenos Aires. You can see it joining forces with that huge low pressure system just south of the South Sandwich Islands. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems to talk about except for later in the week. Could see some heavy rains, parts of West Africa, Nigeria. I'll leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the big lows and with the size of this low pressure system in the southern hemisphere is bigger than Australia. It's a continental low. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching today. Should be an interesting transition into winter to say the least. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.